Welcome back to another video. I've got a couple of Nightcore chargers in. These are two very basic chargers sent in via the company for a review. I don't have retail packaging, just the chargers and the cables, but we'll go through and have a quick look at them and give you some thoughts on their usage and performance. The battery sizes are listed out and stamped on the back of the case of each of these. We have the raised contact points at the top, that's for the flat top cells, and you also get raised contacts on the sliders. On the two slot version, the UI2, a little bit on the stiff side, these aren't final retail production. I found the UI1 was fine with that, so a little bit of silicone grease would fix that. These are both micro USB powered, very similar case construction to the other Nightcore chargers that I've looked at. It's ABS fireproof material on both of these and it feels quite dense, decent enough. Just the three LEDs on these chargers, they are obviously aimed at simplicity and ease of use rather than snazzy features. We don't have a USB port or a power bank function, anything like that. One of the key features with this, and I'm showing you it compared to a budget charger I got off eBay, is the extra long slot length. And that means that with 80mm to play with, and I measured it on both exactly the same, you can fit the protected 20 and 21 700 batteries. A lot of chargers, those cells don't fit in simply because they weren't designed to take those batteries which have become more common. This will accept the smaller lithium ion batteries. Remember it's just a 3.6 or 3.7 volt. We'll get on to the charging speed a bit later on because that is an important point to note. Cables with this, 70 centimeters in length, micro USB. So very common connection. Both of these have a charging speed of 800 milliamps, and that is a fixed speed, unlike some of the other Nightcore chargers that I've looked at where you had a variable half an amp or one amp. The downside to that is, is it's less suited for the smaller lithium ion batteries, although it's acceptable. Um, I personally prefer to have the half an amp charging on those. LEDs on this are quite bright side, possibly move it away from a bedside table if you were charging at night, although in daylight it's much easier to see. When the charging's finished, the three LEDs just stay on um, without flashing and that lets you know that it's finished charging the cell. As you would expect for a lithium ion charger, it does terminate, there's no trickle charge on this and you wouldn't want that. I'm going to use a nickel metal hydride cell just to show you the activation function because it's a lower voltage so if it's zero or low volts it will kick in around about 100 milliamps slow charging speed to try and bring that up and if you insert a cell the wrong way around no current will go into it it will just flash the three LEDs to let you know it's been inserted incorrectly it's pretty much standard stuff that I would expect off of a decent quality charger Charging speed of 800 milliamps isn't the fastest, have to admit. Those higher capacity cells do take a while to charge though, that is going to be one of the drawbacks with this, particularly the 20 and 21 700, as well as the 26 650s. Didn't see any difference in performance regarding the termination or charging speed between the single and the dual slot model. The good news for solar charging is outside that you don't need a huge amount of current for it to start charging, around about the 300 milliamps and it will start to charge a cell on this single slot. If it falls below that it will just reset and that means in marginal conditions you'll be able to get a charge into the battery albeit at a slower rate. I'm going to do some termination tests now just to see how the voltages are once it's finished charging. Remember this is when the cells have finished exactly as they finished and 4.17 volt on the first batch. 4.17 on the next battery. A couple of times I had 4.18 and sometimes it would go down 4.16 but the charging rate and the termination is acceptable on both of these chargers and that's exactly as I would expect. User guide is on screen if you want to have a quick look at that. There's not too much to see but it just covers some of the basic spec if you want to read over it. As far as the UI1 and UI2 are concerned I think they're pretty good. I do like the fact that they have the longer slots for the larger protected batteries. What I would have liked to have seen is a dual speed charging half an amp for the smaller cells and the one amp for the longer batteries. Don't have any information on price but I would assume these are going to be a little bit cheaper than the F1 or F2 chargers. Those are the ones to go for if you want to have the power bank functionality.